Hello and welcome everyone! I'm really excited because I feel like I haven't done like a fashion dress solely related video in a while where I'm just kind of like styling outfits and showing you off. This is a different kind of a video than I've ever done before though. I think it's gonna be super fun to see the contrast like directly side by side of how I used to style certain items versus how I'm currently styling them. Oh yeah, if you didn't read the title and you just happened to click on this video. Today I'm going to be styling three different pieces in two different ways. First, I will be styling it how I styled maybe we'll say before the pandemic. I feel like that was when a big shift for a lot of people came style-wise, just being able to like reflect on a lot of things and also probably your own life and like how you live your life and whether it's currently what you want like if this was the last moment to be living i don't know um maybe not everybody was thinking of it like that um but i feel like a lot of people got to explore themselves more also people just change and grow and i feel like that happens naturally um it definitely has happened with me my entire life and i feel like recently a big shift has happened and I feel like some people have noticed it because they'll mention it in comments or messages or whatever. It's not necessarily that I wouldn't wear like the clothes or not really the clothes because my I haven't like totally swapped out my wardrobe, but it's not that I wouldn't wear these outfits anymore. Um, I feel like sometimes I still will slip into that older style, but it just doesn't feel like as true to me as it did before and that's just kind of my goal is always to be authentically me and what i feel in that moment before we get started talking about everything today though i do have a sponsor for this video huge shout out and i'm going to hand it over to sponsorship dev thank you so much devin now for our sponsor today which is go cash back when you shop with go cash back you can earn cash back with some of your favorite stores while shopping. Simple as that. And you're able to get that money back in more ways than before. They can do Helix Pay, they can do a check, they can do PayPal. They can even give you a gift card, whatever you prefer. With Go Cash Back, you can shop with some of your favorite stores like Sephora, New Balance, Walmart, Coach, Nike, Chewy, and so many more and earn cash back. And not only are you earning cash back with sh by shopping with them, Go Cash Back also has special limited time offers will give you higher cash back percentage on some of your favorite stores and they can be used in conjunction with the stores already available discounts and coupons go cash back also has a browser extension which you can download and then the discounts will be searched for and applied automatically when you're shopping and they're even offering online cash back for the people who download their app they have a hundred percent cash back for the app users with places like Starbucks and Whole Foods and more. Go Cash Back also does monthly giveaways where they'll be giving away free skincare and luxury items like Alexander Wang bags to their users. And if you sign up with Go Cash Back today using my link down in the description, you will get an $8 bonus just for signing up. It's super easy to sign up using the link down in the description. Just a few clicks, fill out a little bit of your information to make an account. Bam, you're done and then you're off on your money saving journey next time you go shopping online. So if you find yourself shopping online a lot, make sure to head down to the link in the description, sign up, get $8, download the browser extension, that way you don't have to remember every single time to be shopping through Go Cash Back, and simple as that, save some money. Thank you all so much for supporting the sponsors and thank you to our sponsor Go Cash Back. Much appreciated, and now we will get back to the video. All right, we are back. I actually had Andrew help me pick out these three pieces so I wasn't kind of being biased in what is my favorite kind of things to wear now, and also maybe things that would be easier to switch between my previous style and my current style. There's still a lot of crossover. I feel like that's just bound to happen when you have already got all of your clothing items and then you're just shifting how you style them a little bit. Plus my style of today would not be what it is if I hadn't gone through like the heavily different phases that I went through where you just kind of like find different things that you like, you collect them, you mesh them together 
And that's what personal style is, baby. So let's just jump into it before I keep talking. Let me just show you the first item that we're gonna style in these two separate ways. Okay, so first up in things that we're going to be styling is this jumpsuit. I got this when I modeled for Samantha Pleat. I love the poofy sleeves. The colors are great. This green is one of my favorites of all time. I haven't worn this in a minute, but I do remember how I was styling it before. So let's show the before first. All right, here's the first outfit. This, I'm pretty sure I've worn this outfit like exactly before. And like I was saying, it's not that I wouldn't wear these. It's just that I would probably, I don't know, just do it a little differently for whatever reason. And maybe someday when I'm just not really feeling like putting a lot of thought into my outfit. Here's Birch! Oh my gosh, you guys have not met Birch yet. <laughs> He's flying on the catcher, so I'm not going to disturb him. But we got a new kitten. Um, I'll introduce you sometime. Anyways, it's not like I want to wear these outfits. It's just maybe I would do it on a day where I don't want to put as much thought or time into picking out my outfit, which this wouldn't require as much just because it's something I've done so much. Like this kind of style just seems like second hand to me to do, second nature, I guess. It just doesn't feel completely like me, you know? Like there's something missing in my personal feelings for myself wearing it. I still think it's a cute outfit, so wouldn't think it's super cute on anybody else too. But I styled it with these 60s boots that I thrifted. This little basket purse I also thrifted. The scarf thrifted. And this is one of my favorite hats that I thrifted too. One summer was like the only hat that I wore basically every single day. And it's kind of falling apart now because of that. So let's see how I would style the jumper or jumpsuit, whatever you want to call it, more in my current style. I'm trying to go fast with these because I'm losing daylight. But this is how I would style this jumpsuit more now. I'm really obsessed with it. Oh, hey, I didn't know both the kitties were in here. Um, so I'm wearing my Jeffrey Campbell shoes. I'm obsessed with these. I just got these, but if I didn't even have just got these, I would have also picked a black kind of a shoe. Probably my mod cloth, like Mary Jane's that are black. Um, because I decided to kind of play into the black details on the romper itself, I really am obsessed with like super colorful outfits with like the juxtaposition of black, like having brights and then super dark kind of contrast in an outfit. So I wanted to play more into that with the accessories. I went with this Victorian inspired hand belt, this silver little swirly bracelet that I love. I like to wear it more as like an arm cuff. Um, I'm wearing this vintage velvet flappy hat that I got off of eBay. <laughs> Birch is coming to say hello. And then I'm wearing my Mind Flowers choker. Just plain black leather. And I decided to grab this Betsy Johnson bag too, which I actually found when I was moving back here. I thought that I had lost it. It works really well with the black details and then also the cream that's in the jumpsuit. So it was kind of like made to go together. And now I really want to go somewhere and wear this outfit out because I love this look, so I'll have to think what my week's like and plan this outfit for one day because this is adorable. Okay, next I'm going to be styling this tie top that Andrew picked out. This is one of my favorite tops. I wear it a lot. I thrifted it. Um, it's just got these really gorgeous colors, red and magenta, purple, green. Basically all of my favorite colors are in this top. And this tie just wraps around the body. You'll see what I tried on. Super low v-neck, pretty sure it's 90s. And then the sleeves have these little slits at the end. All right, outfit number one for item number two. This cute little 90s top. Again, like the outfit, it's very cute. I would still wear it. I still think it's adorable. It just feels like not totally me anymore. So, you know, I don't know what that's about, but I'm just gonna run with it. So I'm wearing these vintage 60s boots. I think I got these off of eBay. They're some of my favorites. I love this color so much. And um, 
the little buckle across the top of the shoe too. It reminds me of Gucci boots. I'm wearing my favorite black little shorts. I've had these since high school. I got them at H&M for like $9, probably in like 2015. Then I'm wearing this scarf, which I think is also from H&M. It's just a really long skinny scarf. I've also had it forever. And then I'm wearing these big 60s-esque, 70s-esque sunglasses. These are some of my favorite sunglasses as well too. But these uh, were sent to me a while ago from the Hippie Shake. So this is outfit number one. Super cute, but let's see how I do it today. Okay, I love this one. This is so Cute! So I'm wearing boots from Jeffrey Campbell. Super cute, like light purple platform. And then I'm wearing this like midi length skirt, but I'm just wearing it as a little dress. Normally this cute little keyhole goes around my belly button. I think that's adorable. But for this outfit, I was feeling it more like a mini dress. I've also been waiting to style it like this. I kind of went more with the purple accent colors for this look and paired along my little purple sunglasses. And then this beaded choker, which I thrifted. It's kind of like a bluish green. And for the top, I have it like wrapped around my back. And then the string is just tied in front to keep it shut and to keep like the longer parts that normally wrap around the front tied in the back and it looks more just like a cover-up kind of cardigan thing this way. And I'm obsessed. This is another outfit that I really want to be wearing out. Um, I could also take this. And then there's that. I feel like that also looks really cute too. If you want something that's a little more like figure fitting, I suppose. But this is how I would currently style this top. And, um, I am also putting this outfit on my outfit batting list, I guess if you'd call it that. Let me know which one you liked better. Let's check out the third item. And then the last item that we will be styling today is this amazing 1960s duster. It's got super cute ruffly trim and then these slits down the sides too. I always forget about this detail, but it's really nice, especially like for showing off your shoes from behind when you're walking. Um, and then it has this matching tie, which in the past I've worn it in my hair as like a headband um, around the bun when I've had my hair up, uh, tied onto a purse. You could even do it around your neck as well, around your leg, you know, like really anywhere you can tie this. Let's check out the outfits. Here's the last old style outfit. I wore this exact outfit to one of Andrew's shows one time, had my hair up with the um, little headscarf that I made when I shortened this dress in my hair too. I'm wearing my Swedish has been little shoes and then I have on the vintage duster and this little 1960s dress which I can't remember where I got it, if I got it like thrifting or on eBay or something, but it used to have little poofy sleeves. I didn't like them so I took them off and now it's just like a you know, sleeveless kind of a dress and like I said it was longer about to my knees and I said absolutely not so I shortened it and then made this little headband slash scarf whatever you want to use it for and of course I'm wearing these little pink sunglasses which are still one of my favorite pieces that I wear all the time let's check out how I'd be wearing the duster nowadays the final outfit I again I am obsessed and this is going on my outfit to wear roster along with the other three. With this one, I went and kind of created my own color scheme versus like just going along with the blue theme that was already, you know, with the duster. I added in this mossy green. I love this dress. It's like a wraparound kind of 70s piece and it has a whole ruffle ordeal similar to the duster which i think kind of looks cool and just plays off of each other then i'm wearing these boots which i thrifted i wore these to see todd rundgren and i will always and forever remember these boots as my todd rundgren concert boots andrew's here with birch oh he's crying up a storm this is little birch 
I'll tell you guys the story of how I got him sometime. For another day? Yeah, we're running out of daylight here. Um, but these boots are very like Victorian slash Western inspired. They are some of my current favorite shoes that I own. And I took the little tie from the duster and tied it around one of my legs just because I think it looks cool. And I'm obsessed with like leg accessories. I have this armband that I took in like stretched out so that it fits over my calf. And I wear it probably too much, <laughs> or is that even a thing? And the neckline, then I have this little snake necklace that I also thrifted. It's Betsy Johnson, I thrifted it with the tags on, so that was awesome. And then I have on these two bracelets, also thrifted. And that is the final look for how I'm styling these three different items in two different ways each. Hi, baby. Okay, everyone, that is all for the outfits. I feel like it's kind of fun to see the same item styled in different ways, um, especially when the overall like aesthetic, I guess you would call, has kind of shifted too. Not just like in the same theme necessarily. My phone just ran out of storage. So if you moved, it's because I had to delete some stuff. But anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite outfit was. Once again, thank you so much to our sponsor. Remember to check the link down in the description. Thank you all so much for watching this video and being here. I hope you have a great day, whatever you're doing. Send in lots of love and I'll catch you in the next one.